There are moments in life when we feel the world around us take on a different hue, almost as if we were hearing a murmur in a language we haven't learned but somehow understand deep within our souls. It's possible that in these moments you have wondered, is something greater happening? A restlessness arises, mixing fear and curiosity, as if an invisible presence was so close that you can almost feel its weight in the air. If this describes something you're going through, perhaps it is the Spirit of God moving around you, awakening your heart to pray, to seek, to resist. Imagine that you are navigating a dark sea, the wind howling in your ears, and high waves threatening to capsize your boat. You grip the helm tightly, trying to find solid ground, but the horizon seems unattainable. This tumultuous sea may be the perfect metaphor for your thoughts at night, racing like an unceasing storm, bringing fear and doubts. But remember this, there is no storm that lasts forever, and there is no sea that he cannot calm with a single word. He sees you exactly where you are and has brought you to this moment, perhaps even to these words, to remind you that you are not alone. You may be hearing an echo in your heart, saying that you were not made to live in terror. Indeed, God himself has made it clear that fear is not the gift he gives us. Instead, he offers courage, not an empty and arrogant courage, but a serene strength, a calm mind, a boldness that does not depend on ourselves but on him. He has equipped us with an authority greater than any power that can rise against us, an armor that shines even in the deepest darkness. Others may not understand what you feel or face. Perhaps they look at you with skepticism or even disdain because they cannot see what you see. But remember, what is invisible to human eyes is no less real. You are not facing flesh and blood people, but forces that attempt to spread chaos and fear. And even so, there is no reason to despair. You have a firm anchor, a God who not only fights for you, but has already won. There is a mystery that surrounds the dark nights of the soul, when nightmares seem more real than the morning light and fear creeps into the heart like an unwelcome invader. Perhaps you have felt this an inexplicable pressure, a sense that something greater, and not of flesh and blood, is moving around you. But even in the densest darkness, there is a truth that shines like a beacon. The power that dwells in you, given by God himself, is infinitely greater than any full force that tries to haunt you. Not only greater, but unshakable, unbeatable. This truth is not mere comfort. It is an eternal decree. You were made bearer of a name above all names, Jesus. This name is not just a sound or a word. It is the very essence of divine power, the symbol of love that descended to earth, overcame death, and claimed victory for you. Before this name, the entire universe bows, not by coercion, but because it is inevitable. It is the natural order of things, light triumphing over darkness, truth silencing, lies. So wherever you are now, take a deep breath. Close your eyes and call this name, J-E-S-U-S. -S. Not as someone shouting into the void, but as someone conversing with an intimate and powerful friend. Whisper it, sing it, declare it. Three times with a heart full of faith. It is not a magic formula, but an act of trust, a declaration that you know who is in control. As you pronounce this name, something begins to change. The fear that once seemed overwhelming starts to retreat. The forces that tried to harass you have no choice but to back down, for they know what you might be beginning to remember now. They have no power against him who has already overcome for you. Now, with this renewed confidence, it is time to declare, not in desperation, but with authority, 
as someone who knows they are speaking from the position of a kingdom heir. Speak words that reflect the truth of who you are in Christ, words that make the darkness tremble. Declare that the enemy has no more place in your life, that the blessings God has reserved for you cannot be stolen or withheld. O Lord of hosts, creator of heaven and earth, God of all light and goodness, I come before you now with living faith and a confident heart. You are my shield, my safe refuge, my unshakable fortress in the midst of storms. In you I find rest and security, for I know I am yours, beloved, chosen, redeemed, and guarded by your mighty hand. I dwell under your grace, Lord, and my heart is anchored in your presence. At this moment, I declare with all authority granted to me in Christ Jesus that no force of darkness, no plan of the enemy can prevail against me. Your right hand, O God, is raised in my defense, and your Holy Spirit, who dwells within me, is the power that defeats all evil works. I trust in the eternal truth that the one who is in me is greater than any opposing force in this world. Therefore, with boldness, I invoke your name, Jesus, above every name, the one before whom every knee bows, in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. I ask now, Lord, that your presence fill this place and cover my life with your light and your peace. Let no space be left for evil, for where the Lord is, darkness cannot remain. By the words of your power, I speak directly to the forces that try to harass me. Every insomnia, every nightmare, every oppression, and every presence that does not come from God. Hear now the voice of authority in the name of Jesus. Leave this place and do not return. Tremble before the power of the living God, the one who rules with justice and eternal love. As it is written in your word, Lord, when strangers hear me, they will obey. When they encounter your glory, they will flee in terror. Thus I decree now that every plan of darkness against me and my household be undone, cancelled, destroyed. Let all the works of the enemy be reduced to nothing, and may your eternal purpose prevail. O Almighty God, Sovereign Lord, over all visible and invisible things, I stand before you with full confidence in the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood that was shed once for all, bringing eternal victory over darkness. I now invoke this precious blood over my life, my mind, my family, and everything around me, the blood that speaks of redemption, protection, and authority. I declare that I am kept, protected, and untouchable because I am under the shelter of the Most High. Powerful angels sent by you, Lord, surround me now like a living wall as designated guardians by the King of Kings. Although I feel the tension of the spiritual battle around me, I will not fear, for your presence is here, a presence that dispels all darkness, transforms chaos into order, and brings peace where there was turmoil. With faith, I proclaim that the enemy is crushed under my feet, for it is not by my strength, but by the power of Christ in me. Every weapon forged against me is destroyed, and every strange power that dares to rise against me is defeated and nullified by the power of the blood of Jesus. I declare that every attack, visible or invisible, is undone now, in the name of Jesus. I command with the authority of the Lord that every shadow and every darkness leave this environment. For here is the King of glory, the Lord of hosts, O rise, eternal gates. Make way for the King of kings, the Lord strong and mighty, the one who is invincible in battle. Who is this King of glory? He is the Lord who triumphed over death, over sin and over every principality and power. O Lord, King of glory, who rules the heavens and the earth, I stand firm on your eternal and proclaimed word. 
Lift up your heads, O gates. Be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. With this truth, I declare that no plan forged against me will prosper, for the Lord is with me as a shield around me. You are my refuge, my fortress, and therefore I am secure, surrounded by your vigilant and invincible presence. Who can strike me if the guardian of my soul never slumbers nor sleeps? I rest in the assurance that the sun will not harm me by day, nor the moon by night, for the creator of the universe watches every step I take. My going out and coming in are blessed for the Most High God has decreed protection over me and my household. Angels sent by you, Lord, are on guard, ministering on my behalf and ensuring that no evil approaches. Now, I invoke the redeeming power of the blood of Jesus over my life. I declare that every illness, every weakness, every evil placed upon my body by the enemy be washed and removed by the precious blood of Christ. For your word is clear, O God. By his wounds we are healed. This promise sealed on the cross is the foundation of my trust. Not only my spirit, but also my body belongs to you, Lord, and is under your restoration and care. Satan, I declare that you have no legal claim over my life. By the blood of Jesus, every foundation you use to afflict me is now cancelled and destroyed. This blood, shed at Calvary, has opened the way for my reconciliation with God, my freedom, my healing, and my victory. I owe you nothing, for the price of my redemption was fully paid. O Lord Jesus, source of all healing and restorer of life, I cry out for your power to flow through every fibre of my being at this moment, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Let your mighty hand touch and restore everything that needs healing. You have already paid the price with your blood and body so that I may be renewed and restored, and I declare that my body is now entering into perfect alignment with your divine will for health and abundant life. Lord, may my mind be renewed, may every thought be in harmony with your truth, and may all areas of my brain function as you have planned. May my organs operate perfectly and balanced, like a symphony of life orchestrated by you. May my blood be clean, healthy and full, carrying only that which brings life and purging all that is harmful. Remove, Lord, every germ, virus, bacteria, malignant cell, or any trace of disease, and restore what was affected by past illnesses. I believe that in you perfect health is mine by right, because you purchased this promise on the cross. I declare that the peace of God reigns over me. My health, my mind, and my environment are saturated with this peace. Good health is my gift. Peace is my state. The blessings of the Lord are my destiny because I was created to enjoy the goodness of God in every area of my life. Devil, hear me. Your influence has no place here. You cannot touch the one who belongs to the Prince of Peace, for he is greater, and his light dispels all darkness. I speak peace to my soul, that anguish that has been troubling me, those worries that have kept me awake, hear the word of the Lord, the peace that surpasses all understanding is mine. I speak peace to my environment, which now becomes a place of rest and serenity. I declare peace over every situation that once seemed insurmountable because the King of glory is entering, and where he is, everything changes. O Lord my God, I rise this hour with renewed faith, proclaiming your truth over my life. You are the God who changes seasons, who transforms tears into laughter, who exchanges the weight of mourning for the lightness of joy. As your word says in Psalm 35, weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. 
I decree in the name of Jesus that my morning has arrived. The season of sadness has ended, and a new dawn is rising over me. Everything that was associated with weeping and lamentation is being replaced by the abundant joy of the Lord. Lord, I pray over my finances and my provision. I will not live in lack, I will not decline, and I will not be humiliated. The promise of Malachi 3.11 is my confidence. The Lord will rebuke the devourer for my sake. Every evil spirit of the devourer that tries to steal the fruit of my work and effort is now rebuked by the power of God. Every plan of the enemy to empty my hands and leave me with nothing is being cancelled. At this moment, in the name of Jesus, I ask, Lord, that your divine protection cover every source of income and every project in my life. Guide me, O God, so that I walk in the path of your provision and wisdom. Let everything that was devoured or stolen by the enemy be restored now, as promised by your word. You are the God who lifts up the downtrodden and restores the years consumed by the locust. Everything that was lost is being returned. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, rise up, as your word says. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Rise up in my life, Lord, and disperse every spiritual force that tries to oppress me. Every attack launched against me in the dark hours, every arrow of the enemy, is being nullified and sent back to the sender in the name of Jesus. There is no greater force than yours, and no evil can prevail against the one under your care. O Lord, almighty God, my light and my salvation, I stand firm on your word, which is alive, powerful, and true. Even when darkness tries to advance, I confidently declare, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? There is no power, visible or invisible, that can prevail against the one who is hidden in you. You are my refuge, my strong tower and my unshakable security. When the wicked rise against me, when adversaries try to consume me with fear, they stumble and fall before your presence. Even if an army encircles me, my heart remains steadfast. Even if war breaks out around me, my confidence is in the God who never fails. In the day of trouble, you hide me under your wings. In the secret place of your tent, you keep me and place me in safety, high above, on an unmovable rock. This is the promise I trust in, and so it shall be in the name of Jesus. Eternal God, I acknowledge that this battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers of evil in high places. These nightmares that have tormented me, these bad dreams that bring fear and uncertainty, are attempts of the enemy to sow doubt and steal my peace. But I rise now, not in my own authority, but in the authority of Jesus Christ, the name above every name. Your word says that when I lie down, I will not be afraid. Your promise is clear. You make me dwell in safety. Therefore, Lord, I pray now that these bad dreams cease completely. Let every evil spirit that tries to invade my nights and bring unrest be expelled by the power of your name. I declare that fear will no longer have a place in my mind or heart, for where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Freedom from fear, uncertainty and hopelessness. O Heavenly Father, with a heart full of trust in your word, I pray with faith that from today Every time I lie down, there will be no place for fear in my mind or heart. May my sleep be sweet, restful, and full of peace, as you have promised. You are the God who gives rest to his beloved, and I claim this promise now. Lord, I pray for absolute peace. In my sleep, genuine and restorative rest, without interruptions or losses caused by the enemy's plans. 
Father, with your authority, I rise against the attacks the adversary has launched against my rest in the past. I bind every attempt to disturb my sleep and declare that every evil plan against me will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let the heavens open over my life as I sleep and let dreams given by you full of hope, revelation and encouragement fill my mind. May your peace cover my soul like a protective mantle, calming every restless thought. Lord, you are like a wing that shelters and protects me with strength and grace. Under your shadow I find safe refuge, and I know that my children are also guarded by your loving presence. You are like a shield that surrounds us each day, like a crown upon our heads, symbolizing our affiliation with you. We are yours, O oh Father, adopted into your family, loved and protected. I place myself and my household under your great care, trusting that you are faithful to guard what we have entrusted to you. As I prepare to go back to sleep, I choose to cast all anxiety upon you and rest fully in your loving embrace. You are my security, both in my waking hours and in my times of rest. Envelop me, Lord, in your presence, immerse me in your spirit, and grant me a deep and renewing sleep, knowing that you are with me. In you I find peace. In you I find rest. Thank you for your constant vigilance and for your hand that never leaves me. O oh, Heavenly Father, in your presence I find refuge, comfort and strength. I come to you with an open heart, laying before you every burden, every fear and every anxiety. Lord, where there were once nightmares, I ask that your peace reign. Minister to my heart through my dreams. Speak to me in ways that restore my soul and renew my trust in you. Even in the face of the most challenging circumstances, I choose once again to place my life at your feet, fully trusting in your faithfulness. Father, remove from me every fear that tries to take root every anxiety that steals my peace, and every stress that weighs upon my spirit. Constantly remind me of your love, your guidance, and the promises that never fail. Hear my voice when I call, O Lord, and protect me from the fear that the enemy tries to instill in me. For in you is my protection, my security, and my hope. Lord, here I am, before your throne, with an anxious mind and a heavy heart. I ask that your holy presence surround me like a mantle of peace. May I rest under the shadow of your wings, knowing that I am safe, hidden and protected in you. Fill my heart with your peace that surpasses all understanding and strengthen my faith to trust that you are with me in all situations. My heart also leans toward you for those I love, for my family. There are so many threats, so many uncertainties and dangers in this world that can try to steal our joy and security. But Lord, you are greater than all of that. I pray for your divine protection over me and every member of my family. May your mighty hand keep them wherever they are, whenever they go out and whenever they return. Father, though I know I cannot be present to protect them from all evil, I trust that you are the God who never sleeps nor slumbers. I place them in your hands, asking that you surround them with your light and cover them with your grace. Let no arrow of the enemy succeed against them, and may your love envelop them, strengthening and guiding them. O Lord, God of all protection and strength, I cry out to you with gratitude and trust. Send your angels to surround and guide me and my family to safely lead us back home and to guard us from all evil that may arise on the way. In every step we take, I ask that your presence go before us, opening doors of blessing and closing the paths of danger. You are my hiding place, Lord, 
my unshakable fortress. Under your wings I find refuge, comfort, and security. Protect me from every difficulty and keep evil away from me, wherever I may be. My trust is firmly anchored in you, my faithful protector, the one who fights for me daily and sustains me with your grace. No matter what comes against me, I will not fear, for your goodness and mercy surround me every day of my life. Thank you, Lord, for being the shield that protects me from the enemy. You are the God who fights for me, and in you I find the strength to face every battle. As your word says in Psalm 28, 7, The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song I praise him. My heart finds joy in you, and I praise you for your faithfulness, which never fails. You are my strength, Lord, and my protection. I fully trust in you, not only as my shield against the enemy, but also as my defender in all storms. In every battle I face, in every situation that seems greater than me, I choose to look to you and rest in your victory. You are a God worthy of all trust, and it is in you that I place my hope today and every day. O Heavenly Father, tonight I rest fully in your promises. I declare with faith that no evil, no danger, and no power can compare to the Almighty God, who is my refuge and fortress. I come to you, Lord, with an open heart, surrendering every fear, every worry, and every sorrow. Nothing is hidden from you, O Abba Father and yet you love me with an unconditional and eternal love. Even when words fail, my soul cries out for your protection and your peace. Envelop me with your warmth and grace so that I may rest, knowing that I am safe in your arms. Thank you, Lord, because in the tranquility of this hour, I deeply feel that I am your beloved child. My heart is confident because I know you have heard my prayer and your answer is already on the way. I praise you, my King, for your faithfulness and goodness that never fail. All praise and honor belong to you forever. In the name of Jesus, I pray with gratitude and trust. Amen. If you prayed with faith and expectation, believe that God is already acting in response to your petitions. As the Bible teaches us in Matthew, 21 22 and whatever you ask in prayer you will receive if you have faith be bold in your faith if the enemy tries to cast doubt or fear into your mind return to these prayers and declare them aloud especially at midnight a moment of spiritual power persevere and you will see how god can change circumstances believe that that disease that seemed incurable will be healed forever. That debt that weighs on you will be miraculously paid off. That lost relationship will be restored. What the enemy stole from you will be returned in abundance. You will see joy reborn in your life. God is faithful to do more than we ask or imagine. Believe that he is already performing miracles in your life. Share your victories and testimonies, for your story may be the inspiration someone needs to trust in God. If this moment of prayer touched your heart, share it with others like, and subscribe to continue being edified. May God bless you abundantly, today and always.